to be a blackamore <clears throat> i know racism there's racism amongst every race you know you you in every race you have a hierarchy of upper and lower tiers of citizen and knowing this white supremacy established a certain type of rule or a certain type of standard for the entire world historically well i'll give you an example in most races if you ever see uh, movies or commercials of other races they will always have the most pale or the lightest complexion of people um let's say with asians or let's say with um south americans let's say with um the east indies which is india they will always show the lightest or even australia which is another british um colony but it's an african satellite it's an african satellite british colony but the reason i'm even bringing this up or trying to cover a point is that the whole world's mind mental and what they see has been lighting up meaning you could be a lighter complexion person or pale skin albino or, or pale skin avion excuse me and you between your complexion you will either be feared or welcome based on what white supremacy did because white supremacy demonized the darker skin so much that you won't see it too much on TV in North America most most of your top actors right now are either we in America but most of your top actors right now in America that are they have any type of pigmentation or melanin is either British or they are mixed breed meaning they are biracial biracial very lighter skin people dark skin people don't make too much of a cover of a magazine ever unless it was jet or ebony or on tv different shows and stuff like that and what you see or now if they do have a black person in it they're usually homosexual or they're lesbian see manifest manifest destiny was to change the destiny of anglo-saxons or inga lalan where they're originally from anglo anglo saxons are or abians they're not caucasians to be caucasian got to be part hindu and part asian so they're not caucasian the avions and this demonizing of dark skin has per, has been perpetrated into the minds of people that are dark skin but it also gives the the back of the the, folk, the back of the mind you know, your mind takes mental pictures of everything it sees so if you see so many images on tv or in magazines and they're lighter of a lighter shade or a pillar complexion and it's being glamorized and glorified because it's in a magazine because it's on tv like we get to see it so we think that's that's the approval color i mean beyond going back to any type of enslavement this is the biggest enslavement the enslavement ever did because it put it on your it put it on your brain forever it's a psychological warfare it's a mental game because mentally if you can see equality in not just race and gender but in complexion in looks if it's okay to see a fat person and a skinny person if it's good to see a light-skinned person a dark-skinned person a pale person but they don't you know and 
for those that control the media and control whatever that is allowed to be seen on a grand stage that has the most money, the most marketing, it does a mental thing. Because if you do travel and go other places, like right here, these are Brazilian women. But you would think all Brazilian women are light skinned. Why? Because that's all they show. That's all they show. You would never think anybody was this dark. From the ones that are from there, they know that. But outside, what the world sees or what is shown to the world, you don't see the equality on both being represented and that manifest destiny that was brought into the fold when everybody that were subjects of the king and they still are has to follow this change because before it was changed manifest means to change obviously it must have been a very 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 dark world like everywhere, there are dark-skinned people all over the world, even in Russia. They're everywhere. But when you don't see it or think to see it or your mind doesn't reference it, you always think that a lighter complexion is better, a paler complexion is safer, which is the opposite of what actually happened. They got rid of our history by a stroke of a military pen. And literally erased it. But then by images and film and pictures, they gave it a whole new face. They gave the world, they gave history a whole new face. And that was a strong manifest destiny to change a complexion from inferior to superior. It's amazing. And so amazing that the connection will always make a dark skinned person a darker complexion person no matter what their race is is to be treated lesser to 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 fall under a different category of racism even though if you are of any any african descent you're going to be hated upon regardless that's what manifest destiny did it literally made a light-skinned person that is of the same race of a darker skinned person and look at them as lesser. Now, how did that happen? Explain. If white supremacy didn't teach it, but he made it for all races. Every uh, uh, Asian, uh, African, or whatever can come to America and discriminate against a natural blackamore born in North America, they would discriminate against them. Why? Because they were taught it. All over the world, they was taught it. They manifest destiny. Thank you to all the subscribers to the More View podcast. We have yet to be monetized. Any donations you want to give to the channel, we keep it going for the 23 and on and on. It will be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.